So welcome to another Bootstrap 3 tutorial. In this video we're creating this grid system which shows all of our articles. So in this case we've got four columns, although we can have three columns, two columns, or six columns, we can do it however we want. We can have uh, a column like this, like which is two wide, and then we can have two separate ones, we have three. We can have this however we want. And the cool thing about this is as I bring in my resolution, of course it's gonna be responsive. As I bring in the resolution, you see it just resized the and now it's going vertically because there's not enough space to give you four little sections here so it's going vertically now so now we can actually read it properly and we have enough space and then on mobile it also looks good there so that is what we're going to be creating in this tutorial so yeah so I'm going to close that uh, in our code I'm using brackets now as my text editor my IDE I was using notepad plus plus but I'm getting a bit bored of it so I'm going to switch over to brackets now which is good for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, but unfortunately that's its limit. You can't do PHP, you can't do you can't do ASP, you can't do anything else. You are stuck to, to uh, HTML, CSS, CSS, and JavaScript, which isn't a problem for a lot of people who are just doing client-sided stuff. But if you want to get into detail and do PHP and server-sided stuff, it's not going to work for you. So I'm using back brackets as an alternative to Sublime Text. As you can see, I've got the same theme as Sublime Text. Uh, the theme is called Monokai, uh, Monokai Dark Soda. So if you want to download that, go ahead. Uh, I got a themes extension. I can't remember what it was called. It was quite a long time ago. Installed themes. It's just called themes. So just download that, and that gives you a bunch of themes. And I have Monokai Dark Soda. Play around with all of them. Decide which ones you want. So, yeah. So for this, for this grid system, not 960, this grid system, you want to place it underneath your Jumbotron container and uh, above your navbar for your footer. So here we're going to create our div. And first we need to create a container, which is going to store all of our stuff in and make sure it's responsive. And then we're going to have a div with a class equal to row. And to any Bootstrap 2 users, this is the same as row fluid. This is just going to be for our row, which is going to house our uh, columns. So inside here, we're going to have our columns. Oh. That's the thing I'm not used to about uh, brackets see it still, is it automatically puts your slash div in the end. So that's kind of annoying for me because I'm not used to it, but I'm trying to get used to it. So this div class is going to be col-md-3. And what this actually means is col, which is just a standard class, you don't need to worry about that, dash md. Now, when we were resizing it, it was on uh, when we were on a high resolution, so large, so LG, um, it was showing it horizontally, all of our little columns. When we were on medium, which is what we're on here, it shows it horizontally still. But when we go lower than this, being small, it shows it vertically. So this is basically setting the last time for it to be uh, horizontal. So if this was LG, then it will show up only in large, in horizontal. When you go down to medium, it wouldn't be. If this was SM, then it was showing large, medium, and small. And then any anything lower than that, it would just not show horizontally. It would show vertically. So if, for this, we're going to use MD as it still fits, and it's still clearly readable when it, we're on a medium device. Now inside here, we can actually put our content. You can put any HTML content you want, uh, such as a... Uh, a link or a heading or a paragraph text or a picture or uh, buttons, whatever. So here I pasted in a heading tag, a heading 3, followed by a normal link, followed by just a link uh, text, closing the link and closing the h3. So now if I save this, Brackets has this cool feature where I can go File and then Live Preview. And what this does is it opens up a Chrome browser. This is like a special version of Chrome. And as you can see here, our uh, grid is working, and we'll create some more in a sec. But watch this. If I put this over to my side, and I just add some text here, you see it just edited it, it just edited itself straight away there. So I can save this again, and it, bam, it's gone. I didn't refresh or anything. It's got live preview. So that's a really cool feature that I like. Uh, so yeah, it's much easier now to go save and then refresh and then if Chrome's not open then open it and it's just a big pain. So now I'm going to add more data to this uh, 
column. So I'm going to add a paragraph text now, which again, I'm going to copy and paste. This is just something I stole from the Lorem Ipsum site. What normal people would do is they'd actually generate some Lorem Ipsum code, whereas I just um, copy and paste the about section of Lorem Ipsum. And then, so that's just in paragraph tags, closing one at the end. And then I'm just going to copy over link button. This is a href equals hash, so just linking to nowhere. Class is equal to btn, so giving it the button behavior. And then btn dash default, which gives it the color styles. So you can use btn dash primary, btn dash danger, btn dash info, whatever. And then read more as the text for it, and then close off the a tag. So close off the link. Now, if I bring this over here, you can see, refresh, yeah, you can see we've got the uh, text, the title up here, we've got the paragraph, and we've got the read more text. And as I bring this in, so you see it collapses itself, and then it goes into uh, horizontal, sorry, vertical. So now it's time to add more content to this. So you can do that by just copying this, pasting it four times. Or make just paste the three times make sure those four sections one last thing I forgot to explain what this three does here basically imagine a 12 uh, 12 grids so 12 boxes horizontal so that is how bootstrap works so you can fill up those spaces in this box um, so for this example we're going to use three of those spaces so three of those like squares in this grid so we're going to use three of them up so now we've got nine left so we have nine left to work with we're going to use another three in the next three boxes and we're going to use that. We could, if we wanted to, use one here. So we're going to use three boxes here, three boxes here, one box here, and then more boxes over here. But we're going to be using three and then three over here. You cannot, these cannot total more than 12 in one row. If you do, it just doesn't work. Don't even bother trying it. We could also have uh, six sections of two or 12 sections of one, which just wouldn't look good. Or we can have two sections of six, uh, three sections of four, however you, however you want to do it. As long as it adds up to 12, you'll be good. So now if we save that, and you can see here, we've got our grid. I'm gonna refresh because of this box that it puts around here. And you see it's all looking really nice now. And put it in like this. You see it's resized, it's now smaller, and then it's even smaller now in vertical. So this here is our large display, this here is medium, so it's still going horizontal, and then this here is small, so it's going uh, vertical, and then this is extra small. So that's about it to the uh, fluid grid system. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it useful, make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.